In this video tutorial, we're going to learn how to configure IE7 to display our JavaScript errors. Of course, we want to do this because uh, seeing the error messages produced by the browser makes our lives a lot easier when we're writing our JavaScript. So let's jump into the code right away. So here we are. You can use any text editor you want, of course. We've seen this before. This is an alert. And uh, we got our JavaScript block, of course. So let's take a look at how uh, IE displays this when it works. So got IE here, IE7, hit alert. We get our Windows Internet Explorer alert box. And so now let's do something that would cause an error. So I took off the semicolon here, that JavaScript period, you know. Remember, semicolon is like a period. So we'll save that. Let's launch Internet Explorer again. Oh, it works anyway. Internet Explorer is very forgiving. So let's just take off the bracket. That should bust. So here we go. Uh, my uh, my code editor is telling me, oop, you probably got a problem here with the code here. So let's just uh, launch Internet Explorer again. All right, so we see nothing happens. Let me just bring this in. So we know that it's not working, but of course we don't know why. So what we need to do is you go into tools, you go into internet options, and you want to go into advanced options here. And under browsing, scroll down, you want to say display a notification about every script error. So that's the first thing you want to do. And uh, we can have to say, we can actually uh, enable that as well. So we're going to apply. And now let's just uh, refresh this. And here we go. We get our little box that pops up. And it tells us some detail about the errors. Now you can hide the details. You may have it like this. And so we go show details. And it tells us what line, etc., etc., etc. Just like we did in Firefox. And you also see down here, it gives you a little... Uh, little exclamation point here telling you that something has gone wrong on the page. So we just go OK. The page loads. And uh, yeah, so there you go. So that will tell us when we have a bug, an error in our Internet Explorer. So let me just finish this off. Now, they're very forgiving. Internet Explorer is very forgiving where it allows us to not put in a semicolon. But I always like putting in the semicolon at the end of a line of JavaScript code because it just, uh, it's cleaner that way. So let's reload, refresh. There we go, I'm back. So as you can see, well, you know what? I'm just going to jump in. I'm going to show you this in uh, Firefox just to compare the two. So I just reload the page. You see how Firefox calls it JavaScript application. I'm back. It's a little bit different. Let's see how the error display is different. So I'll save that. Load this in Firefox. You see we got nothing. Now you have to actually go into error console and show the console. I'm going to clear this and I'll reload and you can see our error appears. Now here's the thing. The error console in Firefox is more detailed. I find it's uh, it's more accurate I suppose in the, in the display versus IE7 but it's a little bit more of a hassle because you're going to have to have your error console open on the side here so you can load the page and you can see the errors coming in on the side here. So if you have a lot of real estate, screen real estate that is, then the error console in JavaScript is uh, kind of cool. And uh, But if you're maybe stuck with some in terms of screen real estate, IE is much more compact where you see what's going on uh, right in the page itself. You don't have to explicitly go and say show me the error console. So it's up to you to decide which way you want to go in terms of using IE7 or Firefox. Although I did mention before that I kind of prefer Firefox, but um, I'm revising that statement a little. I guess it depends on how you want to work 